Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. In the last episode, I struggled to solve the simplest puzzle in the history of Portal. Today, I will be doing more difficult puzzles. This will probably not go well. Also, if you've somehow missed the premise, I am playing Portal 2 while sick, and also blindly. I've never played Portal 2. I played Portal 1, not Portal 2, and my brain is, like, broken. It's not working very well. But I did find the make noise and shake the gun button, so we're good. This we're next good. test is out. very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, oh, one. Smooth jazz. The smoothest of jazz to soothe my aching jazz parts. Oh, I lost my jazz and my my cool buzz. Okay, so there's there's a friend cube under the broken matronics. Uh, there's a door. Is it broken? It's either broken or I need to but oh, there's a button, derp. Okay. So here's an orange portal. Oh, okay. So since there's no portals, it's all like jelly. Hmm. I wonder if orange portal jelly is delicious. So if I if I shoot a portal under the block then it should... yeah, okay. Physics came through the other portal because gravity was on my side. Now drop it on the friend button. And that opened the door! See, look at that. The harder puzzle was easier than the one where I had to just be a normal person. We're in test four now! Okay, so more friend buttons. What does this do? Check mark. Is that... Does that raise the platform, or what? What is that? Oh, is this just like an end gate? Where I need to hold both of them down to do anything? It's just making noises to make me feel better? Well, it doesn't make me feel better. It makes me feel more confused. Okay, so let's think about this. There's an orange portal up there. So, I could use the same thing I did last time to put this up there. But I can't get up there unless I fire another portal. Which I could do almost anywhere. So, hi there, give me this, thank you. Uh, let's put this on the one that's closest. Now, there's a friend cube up there. Uh, oh, I got this, I got this. Okay, watch this. So, I go through here, now I'm on the upper platform. Now I fire a portal over there. I turn around, and oh, look at that, pick some stuff up. Now I'm just gonna fall off. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Don't worry. My natural inclination is to do such. Uh, I do, however, experience the slight problem of, huh? What? About? What? What is going on? Oh, there's an orange portal up there that I didn't notice. So if I walk through this, I'll fall. Oh, and I... I broke it. I'm so sorry. I broke your thing. Uh, I would pay for that, but I'm pretty sure you're dead. Because everything is robots and pre-recorded, so whoever cares about that is probably... Well, has been dead for a while, actually. Wait, is there a point to this ramp? I still don't know why I'm looking for, like, collectibles or power-ups. UNREASON! That'd be a great name for a sports drink. Uh, for smart people, but then I guess it, it wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be a sports drink so much as like a smart drink. I want a smart drink. Then I would be better at this game right now. Let's go through the grill. Let's press the shake button. Shake it off. Yeah, that's good. It's good stuff. Oh, hey, look, it's like creepy zombie chess. Remember your evacuation training. Follow the zombie horde to the nearest exit. Seems like good advice. The zombies definitely have good survival instincts. Either that or I forget what a zombie is. It's hard to say. I do... I could do without these loading screens, to be honest. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, uh, let me check. please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. 
I haven't noticed any fireballs, so I'm just gonna ignore that one for now. Uh, let's go through this door, because it seems like the only exit. Number five! This is brought to you in Espanol, where available. I assume that's what these symbols mean. Maybe surround sound or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't go through here. But I see an orange portal. I could go through that. Uh, let me find a portal place. Where do I... Ah, I found one. Portal place, go! Oof. Oh, that was weird physics. My brain hurts a little bit. Right now, it hurts. Push the button. That activated... Something! Oh, it made a friend cube. It dropped a friend cube into the sewage zone. Oh, I think the sewage zone is gonna kill me. I need to be careful of that. But I need to get the friend cube so I can put it on the friend button. Uh, where... How do... I can't jump... I can't jump! I'm white! That's offensive. I should stop that. But it's the, it's the title of a movie, so it's fine, right? It's not offensive if it's a movie title? A movie title? What am I on about? Let's, um... S oh. Oh. Maybe? Maybe I need to do the jump now that I thought I needed to do before? Let's... Oh, I can't shoot the line. I can't shoot these, like, gray tile floor. What are they made of? What? Is there, like... Does someone know what things that a portal can be made of? Or what things you can make something out of so that a portal doesn't work on it? Is there, like, consistent science to this? Uh, okay. So I can make a portal here. Uh, that's not useful. Like, if I just, like, inch out, I still just fall. I need to, like, propel myself over there, right? Hold on. Let's go through here. Well, yeah, I need, I can't even, if, I can make a portal there, but I can't get up through the orange thing to use the portal. I can't shoot up here. Oh, I can shoot up there. But it's still not useful because I can't shoot the, I can't shoot orange portals. I can shake the gun. I can't shoot orange portals. Um. Ah, aha! You'll use the technique from earlier of cube drop. So the cube should have come out here. And it did, because I can already see it. Now I'm holding it. I'm going to put it on the friend button. And that does something! What did that do? What did that do? Oh, it made stairs! Wow, I'm like so not observant right now. So it made stairs. Uh, okay. So that's gonna, that opens the door, right? Yeah, that totally opens the door. Uh, here's some buttons. What does this button do? It saves the game! No, really, what did that... Oh, oh, it made a friend cube, but it died. Why you kill my friend cube, bro? That's not cool. That made a... Trampoline bridge. If I press this again, do I get a new dead friend? This is morbid! Alright, now here's the actual... If I make a portal where the cube's gotta fall... It'll come out. Oh, I see. If I make a portal where the cube's gonna fall... Then it will fall through the portal, but it will have too much momentum. It will fall off of this platform if I don't press the other button, right? Am I right? Let's watch. Friend goes down, falls out. Yeah, oh, no, no, it still didn't quite work. If I press this button again, do I get more? Oh, I'm derp. Okay, so I need to, like, press the button at a reasonable time so I stop the cube from flying into oblivion. Look at that! I did it in one try. Accidentally. It counts. It's fine. Uh, and I could take the cube up my magic ramp because I have feet! The technology of feet is very useful for lifting boxes. Oh, wait a minute. Does my, like, shake button, like, drop stuff? Drop. It does! Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear moot, <laughs> you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. By the way, every time I walk through one of these emancipation grills, it, like, shakes me as though I've got the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. So I'll probably be making, like, weird subconscious noises throughout, and that is the explanation as to why that's happening.
It is as much explanation as my current brain state allows for. You're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through ports. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Oh man, that'd be like a crazy apocalypse where like physics just stopped working? And you could like space jump like Metroid? What is it with these floppy trees? This doesn't even look like the evacuation anymore. This looks like a really like weird game of chess. Tree chess. King me! That's checkers. Go away! Open the door. Okay, number six involves the use of pointy things and holes and replaces my head with a friend cube. Uh-oh. That seems potentially dangerous. Well, I can't see where to go, so it's time to make a portal. Yoink! That was potentially catastrophic, but it was fine. Uh, okay, so I don't see anything down there that makes me want to be over there. Uh, I do... Uh, oh, okay, so there, here's Friend Cube. Uh, can I get to you? Fr friend Cube, why did you abandon me? Uh, I don't really understand. Okay, no, maybe. Maybe. No. Maybe? So, oh, here's a thing. Alright, so this is finally telling me that I need to do the jump. That I was like, I should be doing a jump. It, mu I have, it must be that I have to do it from down there. That must be why this exists. Although this seems catastrophic at best. Jump! So for, any, for the uninitiated to portal, when you go through a portal, your momentum and like to some extent your direction are sort of maintained. So like, if you jump from a tremendous height from one portal into another, you have all the momentum you had while falling, so it propels you like way further than just like falling through the portal. Uh, now, however, uh, I need to make a portal out- Because I can't get down here, this hole is too small. I have wide hips from eating lots of cake. Because there's lots of cake in Portal, as you know. I'm sure everyone knows that Portal is famous for having lots of cake. So I need to make a portal under here, because I'm pretty sure that's the only way I can interact with Friend Cube. So let's do that. Uh, where did it go? Okay, so it went there. Uh, I guess what I want to do is grab it and then jump through that same portal I made before. So let's gra oh, no, wait. I didn't make the portal. Because uh, I just used the other one to make friend cube. I was just going to, like, break my spine by jumping down here. That's fine. Uh, let's make a portal. That should be good. Now let's go get friend cube. Uh, and then let's, let's be a happy family. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're good. Friend Cube is fine. You are an employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Uh, multiple emancipation groups. That seems dangerous. Uh, let's go one more puzzle. Hopefully, this doesn't backfire. All right, so this one seems to suggest I want the same like propulsion, dynamics, jumpy time, fun, happiness. Where is my orange portal? Okay, my orange portal is like way down there. So I can make a blue portal on this like conspicuous springboard thing, spittoon, and then I can jump in the orange portal and see what happens. Oh my God! Oof. Well, I went very far, and oh, and I found a friend cube. That seems like a sign that I did the right thing. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to jump a lot through these portals. So this graph indicates that I can drop the D-pad from my Nintendo DS uh, if I surround it with angles, and it will have smell lines because doing that releases chemicals from the Nintendo DS. So now I have this friend cube. I don't know where it goes. Uh, hmm. By the way, friend cube, even though you are a different friend cube than the one I knew two minutes ago, you are a way better friend than robot friend. This robot friend keeps not talking to me and trying to get me killed or something. He doesn't seem like he's on the level. Uh, let's like try and figure out my life. I guess? Uh, oh, I think I dropped him. I think I can pick him up if I need to. 
I'm gonna leave him there for now because I feel like he's in a better place than I am. Let's do this. I can make a portal up there and I can jump. Oh god! Whew. Ow. I definitely hurt my face on that landing. So yeah, my friend cube is still here. Hi friend cube! Uh, oh, this thing is sort of broken. <laughs> can I shoot a port? How do- Hmm. I need- Oh, here's the thing. Friend cube goes in whole arrow- Oh. I just walk around the wall, and it's fine. Uh, so I do that, and I put it, my friend down. I like that the cube changes color, uh, when you put it on the button. I don't understand why it does that, but I like it. I think... The way this looks... <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat. It's... Oh, no, I can't put a portal on it. I thought I would have to put a portal on it and jump somewhere. But... I think I need to not do that. I think I just need to, like, leave this here. It will make a platform. Uh, if I... Oh, if I adjust my portal placement such that I will land on the platform instead of, like, ramming my face into a wall. And then... And then I have to jump. It looks like I have to jump. That's a Homestar Runner reference, by the way. I don't know why I like that so much. It's from Danger S. Future Star. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. All right, uh, that's gonna do it for part two of Sick Day. Let's play Portal Two. Next time, I will take on more puzzles and hopefully encounter more friend cubes because they make me feel like I am not a blight on society with my contagious grossness. I hope you are enjoying this and I am making more videos now. As Well, not as we speak because I'm still making this one, technically. But in like five minutes, I'll be making another one. And hopefully you will enjoy that too. Stay tuned for that one that I'm making soon. Bye, guys!